Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create grass field using WAPS in Houdini. So let's move into Houdini. First of all over here I just create one geometric container. I just go inside that and for base I just create one grid and I just reduce size by 5 by 5 as well as reduce my segments 2 by 2. Over here to generate grass I need some scatter points so I apply one scatter operator and over here I just put as it is over here now over here I just apply one point velocity operator through which we can basically generate some velocity attribute onto this points so first of all I just apply add points over here and I just apply in y direction to see the visualization for this thing velocity I just apply and I just click V over here so right now we get some velocity like this over here so over here I just apply one curl noise and in which I just add curl and basically I just reduce my scale like this to apply animation little bit slower for that I just increase the pulse duration as well as to smoother this particular stuff I just reduce my grain okay so now if you play this thing see you will get some good animation on your velocity okay so I am going to use this velocity to animate my grass so temporary I just of this visualization and now what I need to do is that over here I just apply one attribute wrangle in which I just transform my velocity information to my normal so for that purpose over here I just write down V at N is equal to V at V okay so I just apply my velocity value to normal so now if you click over here to see the normal direction now say that normal has the same animation and direction as your velocity ok so I just stop this thing now over here I just create one line that refer to my grass and over here I just set the direction to 1 and over here I just apply one resample operator ok so through resample I just increase the segments over here as well as what I prefer over here is that you just create this attribute called curve view ok so through that basically we will get one information that wherever we have that root of that curve it has zero value and wherever we have that end of that particular curve point it has one value Okay, so basically it just normalize that stuff within 0 and 1 and like this ok so now over here what am I going to do is that over here I just apply one copy to point operator in which I just apply this and this so now we will get something like this over here ok and if I play these things we will get some animation like this over here but the problem is that over here whenever this grass move it should bend basically ok so right now there is no bending over here there is momentum like that but uh, no bending ok so now I am going to create the flow that will basically bend this curve so for that purpose over here I am going to apply one small point velocity but right now this is for to calculate the velocity or that uh, velocity for that animation ok so right now we get something like this over here ok so we are going to use this velocity to bend my curve ok but uh, for that purpose what I need to do is that over here I just apply one more time copy to point operator and over here I again apply this same curve 
but over here I am not uh, using this stuff I am just applying the scatter ok so right now we will get something like this over here maybe yeah so over here what I prefer I just apply one normal operator basically that will calculate the normal direction and it just spread that attribute towards that scatter point so right now we get something like this over here copy to point now I need that static uh, lines over here that represent grass and over here what I am going to do is that over here I just apply one attribute copy operator in which this is my contain and I just want to copy my velocity from here to here ok so now over here by default it's just transfer or copy that color information so over here I just set it to velocity so now see my line are straight but uh, now we get that velocity onto those stuff ok so for that banding purpose so to understand that uh, how to band that curve according to that velocity temporary I just decrease or I just set my four count value to 1 ok so we can just focus on only one curve so we can easily understand that what happened to that ok so right now we have this velocity value now this is the when very important portion of this tutorial so over here I am going to create one attribute warp again to understand and see that flow in a proper manner I just change my workflow my workspace from pops ok so over here I have this thing so now I am going to use this velocity so first of all I just call bind and I just call curve view attribute over here now over here I just apply one multiply operator and I just multiply my velocity and curve you over here ok so if you see the resultant value of that thing I just apply like this ok so right now we will get something like this over here but I do not want that my velocity give the direction likewise this little bit up so for that purpose over here what am I going to do over here I just apply vector to float over here and over here I just create one more that is float to vector and over here I just apply x and z velocity over here and if I apply that particular stuff over here so now see will get very straightened outcomes over here but now whenever that particular curve moves in this direction this velocity should be move little bit over here so that we can get uh, basically scale down in our curve ok because whenever it bends basically it just move that y direction also so for that purpose over here and one more thing that I apply over here is that I just create one ramp parameter to manipulate this thing and over here I just change here that spline ramp and I just go outside of that and over here I just apply right now like this ok so now I just go inside that particular stuff and over here what am I going to do is that I am going to basically calculate the length of this particular stuff so for that purpose I just apply one length okay, this is also considered as speed ok because when you find out the length of your velocity it basically considered as speed ok so we have this thing now over here I just create one constant and over here I just set it to maybe minus 0.5 over here and I just multiply that particular stuff with my length and over here I just apply one 
float to vector and I just apply that productivity of these things to my y and now over here I just apply one add operator and I am going to add this with this so now see we automatically get something like this okay and last step that I am going to do is that I just apply one add more operator and over here I have this position because I need to play with position and now I am going to add that velocity information to this position and now whatever the sum for that thing I just apply to my original position so now see we will get some bending on my curve like this okay so I just come out of this I just hide this thing okay now I just select this scatter I just change my workspace now I select this scatter and over here I just increase maybe by 20,000 and see you will get some grass like this over here definitely so what am I going to do is that over here I just apply some color over here so to do apply color I just create color operator in which I just apply ramp from attribute and over here for attribute I just apply curve view and over here I just apply some color like green maybe like this and see you will get something like this over here so definitely you can control that animation by maybe if you want to set a bigger scale for that thing you just increase the screen size and see you will get some animation like this if you want to slow down this thing I just increase pulse rate and now see you will get something like this and definitely over here what we prefer is that I just apply one more attribute randomize stuff and over here I just apply P scale dimension 1 and over here I just apply maybe 0.7 to 1 variation or maybe 0.6 to 1 variation over here so we'll get some randomized scale over here okay and now up to you that if you want to apply some shape to that particular stuff you can use sweep operator or maybe uh, if you want to basically render the curve directly as a one cylindric formation so you just apply maybe over here I prefer that I just apply what attribute wrangle and in which I just apply like uh, F at P scale is equal to a ramp size comma 1 minus at curve view and multiply it with CHF and over here I just apply maybe radius and I just click over here so I will get something like this over here so I just reduce maybe 0 0.02 over here we have this facility so uh, I can just change the scale like uh, maybe over here B spline B spline and maybe you just right now I just reduce this scattered maybe 100 okay so I just come over here and maybe set one camera over here and if I just render this thing so you will get something like this over here and definitely you can work on this shape maybe over here
Okay, so that's how you can create grass field using warps. There is no dops over here. So hope you like this tutorial. See you soon with another tutorial. Thank you.